This is the book of Job, chapter 4, verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? She's gone. You can hear the grief in that mother. In that mother. But it was gone. She's gone. You can hear the grief in that mother's voice. Her daughter, a mother herself, was killed in a fight between her boyfriend and her ex. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. Not only was that young mother shot, but her little girl was too. News Channel 8's Annie Mapp joining us live from the Clearwater Police Department with more on the story. And I know you spoke with the victim's family. Obviously, we saw some of that there. Uh, they're demanding answers. Keith, Jen, family members of the victims are still trying to process what happened. Police say an argument between two men at the Genesis Apartments is what resulted in the gunfire. Now three young children are left without a mother. I just heard my daughter say it hurts. It hurts. 25-year-old Nicolesha Washington is dead from gunshots exchanged during a heated argument between her current and ex-boyfriend. My oldest son calls me on the phone and he says, Coach has been shot. Please come home. Not only did Washington's mother discover she had been shot, but also her seven year old granddaughter. Both victims were taken to area hospitals, but Washington didn't survive her injuries. She shouldn't have been gone this early. It's too Shalom, Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. The name is Only Begotten Son, and in the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. It's too early for her. It was way too early for her. She doesn't deserve this at all. The victim's ex-boyfriend turned himself into police Monday afternoon. Her current boyfriend had already spoken with detectives following the incident. But as of this afternoon, neither man involved in the argument faced any charges. Washington's mother, Sarah Miller, says the family is struggling to cope with the tragedy. It's not fair to my grandkids, and it's not fair to me. But we need justice for Nicosia. Clearwater police is still in. And so you see how she was dressed, you know. And ultimately, you know, she got put to death by her own, you know, probably both of her baby daddies, you know. Um, you know, she probably had, you know, she said she had three kids. Both of them, you know, those kids were probably by, you know, probably had kids by both of those men. And some love triangle. And ultimately, judgment went out, man. And this happened in Clearwater, Florida. It says Clearwater mom killed seven year old hospitalized after boyfriend. X at the boyfriend and it's supposed to say and X get into shootout. So the boyfriend and the ex got into a shootout, man. Okay. They arguing and got into a shootout. And you know, it shows you, you know, the, the company that you keep, man, because you know, she didn't just, you know, get one boyfriend like that, but she got two. You know, uh, and the ex boyfriend and a current boyfriend. There's too many boyfriends, man. But this just goes to show you that. You know, the Lord is judging our people, man. And that's why we got to come back to the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, because if not, you know, it's just going to be a lot more tears and a lot more sorrow, man. All right, so let's bring this back to Joel chapter 4, verse 7. Remember, remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Okay, so, hey, man, the righteous, you know, nobody dies being innocent. It says, even as I have seen... They that pl plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. And this woman, you know, telling what she was doing in her life, man. You know, her mother said that she didn't deserve that. The kids didn't deserve that, which, you know, it's, it's an unfortunate situation. But, you know, ultimately, it was the Lord that took her out. It was the Lord that had to happen where, you know, not they had a shootout. And neither one of the exes got killed, but the woman got killed. And it, unfortunately, the seven-year-old daughter got killed. And, and, and seven is, um, the number seven means completion. Okay, so the Lord is just, you know, going, go, is, 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 is going to start bringing this judgment down, man. Okay, the Lord gonna start bringing this judgment down, man, and we about to start seeing more people get put to death, more uh, violence, you know, and these love triangles, these, um, you know, these, you know, these relationships are not, you know, of the Most High. You see, and, that, and that's why, why all these things happen. 
And look, this was this was one of the ex-boyfriends. You know, I guess this was the ex-boyfriend. You know, that was arm that was arguing with her current boyfriend. And you see this nigga, he got the you know the damn the damn the damn dreads on top with the demons in it. You know, the spider head. You know, he looked totally gone, man. Totally gone. And they said that both of the these guys did not get charged. Okay, so they pretty much just allowed this this woman to get killed. Okay. To, to some nigga shit, man, and that's why it's, it's scripture say this too. Um, let me grab this. See, because in the ancient world, you, you, you woman, you, you didn't get to choose your man. If you did choose your man, you was going to choose niggas like this. You ain't going to choose a, a proper man, you know, to raise your children. You know, right? You gonna choose a nigga. You see, and that's why your father, you, you, um, the, the, the father ordained the marriage, man. It had to be, you know, you, 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 you. In most cases, you had arranged marriages, okay? Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse twenty-five: Marry thy daughter, and so shalt thou have performed a weighty matter. But give her to a man of understanding. You see, give her to a man of understanding, because why? Hey man, a lot of these men don't have understanding, and these niggas over here having a shootout, and they killed the damn woman they was they, they, they was having a shootout over, you know, and you know almost killed one 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 of her her daughters, okay, one one of her children, and that's all the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Verse twenty six: Hast thou a wife after thy mind, meaning a a, a a woman that's you know, um, um, you know that's trying to please you. It says forsake her not, but give not thyself over to a light woman. That's for you brothers too. Don't me go dealing with these, you know, simple ass women, man. These simple, these simple, you know, bird brain women, and they'll get your ass killed. You know, they may, they, they, you know, they might have just left their ex, you know, and then, and then she hanging out with your ass. She don't tell you nothing. This nigga's a total bug out and murderer, and and and, and he'll start spraying at your car because she in your car, you know. So there's no, you know, so you got you got to be very careful, man. We are in the valley of the shadow of death, and you never know. You know, that's why the Lord, hey man, be, be as Paul was. It's better if you if, if you had none. All right. And this is just ridiculous, man. This is just ridiculous. You know, I, I, I can only imagine the kids, you know, those kids have to, you know, live w w w w w without their mother now. You think either one of those niggas that was, that was fighting over her are going to stick around and take care of those kids? Take care of those kids? No, the grandma got to take care of me and, and her family. You see? Let's go here, Deuteronomy 32, verse, um, verse 39, you see, because it's the most high that does all these things, man, and the Lord, you know, he, 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 he gives our people opportunity, he giving you opportunity to get, to get it right, man, okay, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Okay, so it's the most high God that do all these things, the true God of the Bible. Not no, you know, you guys, you still worship for Jesus and you saw her, she had her Mother's Day uh, gifts, you know. Those those pagan holidays, man. Hey, 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 man, hey, 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 the Lord's going to start judging people, you know. This is... um. This is uh, Psalm chapter 68, verse 20. It says, he that is our power is the power of life. I mean, it's like the power of salvation. And unto the Most High, the Lord belongeth the issues of death. So it was the Lord who did that, man. The Lord ordained that. He had it happen that way. It's unfortunate, but it's the way it is. And let me tell you why it happened, too. Okay? And the spiritual, that in that news article, they just happened to show, you know, her with those Mother's Days, um, the, those those Mother Day gifts. Because we tell you about these pagan holidays man and you people make you know you take, you, you, you uh, take it lightly you know she probably just you know this happened six hours ago so it had probably happened last night okay so yep sunday night so you know, she probably, she's got she probably just got done celebrating you know christmas had a big christmas with all them kids with, with three kids she had a, she probably had a, they had a, a a big christmas you know new year's you know you name it so now it's time for judgment like we said or like we always say so like yeah um, laugh now, cry later. Hey, the party and, and the fun is over. Now the Lord's about to bring judgment. When the Lord's done talking, now it's going to be action time. It says, Second Chronicles 15, verse 13, that whosoever would not seek the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, 
power of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. So if you're not seeking your by Shem Yahweh Shai, if you Israelites, you're going to get getting put to death, man. You're going to end up dying. You're going to end up, you know, get, 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 getting caught in the crossfires. And this is why Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai said, I got his prophets out here telling you to repent. You see? Like I said, it's clear where the floor is not too far from us, man. You know, so, you know, you got these jakes that that, 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 that that be coming out, pat, walking past the camp. Now, hear this word and, and took it for a joke. And now judgment's going out. Not saying that she did, but, hey, man, for all of you that have did, judgment's about to start going out, man. Whatever said, I'm saying, Shalom, Kwame, Sharala, Abad, Babal.